users. Hi, Jasper here from Dynamics. Today I'm here to talk about the importance of lighting when rendering a model, and I'll be using Keyshot 10 Pro. Here I have the laser force phaser and chest piece we designed with a mostly nylon material. Lighting is a highly important aspect of rendering no matter what software you use or product you render. The lighting affects the material, the focus of the scene, and can make the product look fake or photorealistic, and without lighting you wouldn't have anything visible to render. The minimum lighting sources should be three points, as this will give your product a basic three-dimensional look. Existing lighting environments can be found under the Keyshot Environments tab. The lighting can be rotated, and this is especially important for shadows and reflections. The default lighting can be found in environments, but more advanced techniques can be used for more precise and editable lighting. This is normally done by adding geometry, either inside Keyshot or in a pre-made model, and then changing the geometry material to LED reflective or diffusing materials. The background will default be the lighting environment, but I recommend using a color instead. If you're planning on rendering without a background, you should use the black or white background color as other background colors will show in the reflections of your product. Under the lighting tab, you can see the lighting presets. Each of these will change the default lighting, normally making the light stronger or weaker. If you change any of the settings for these options, it will become a custom preset and you will be able to save it and flick between any desired light. To learn more about the previously mentioned advanced lighting, check out our Keyshot Studio tutorial. Dynamics, ideas molded by experience.